What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from First 30 Minutes and GamesReviews.com and we're going to kick things off with a uh, cutscene and then kind of get into our preamble before we start the episode. Lars is here telling us about our bike. Repairs and your bike almost done, but we encountered one small problem. We kind of ran out of the necessary materials for repairs. I tried to place an order, but our supplier has no idea when the goods are going to be coming in. That's too bad. If you happen to get your hands on any of the materials, could you bring them over? It'd be a huge help. I'll post the list of materials we need up on the bulletin board, so check it out when you've got a chance. Got a second. For sure. Anyway, everyone, thanks again for checking in on another episode of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. It is Friday, the 27th of summer in year one. I just want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members, Carmelo at the Xbox tier, Aurora at the Gold tier in March, Taylor, Amila, Alexis, and Ada at the Bronze tier. If you want to become a Patreon supporter like them, please check out the link in the description box down below. There are a number of cool little perks you get, like a Discord-only chat so with me and all the other Patreon members, as well as your name, and forever enshrined in Story of Seasons as one of the animals in the game, while supplies last, because I can only have so many animals. On the last episode, we were able to drop $10,000 to buy a confession pennant for Lynn. And confess our love so we've officially we've officially got ourselves a girlfriend not too shabby at all anyway so we're going to keep working on lynn um we have to get up to nine hearts before we can ask her to marry us um and uh we'll try to try to get that done as soon as possible we've got two days left uh we're going to harvest a couple more onions here but otherwise we're pretty much done with farming until the next season which would be fall so not a whole lunch i think actually this is our last field yeah nothing more to do here uh which is fine i don't really use my horse around my farm i feel like i should but at the same time i never feel like the farm's that big is that just me it could just be me let's get our animals out it's another beautiful day um leaving them inside the barn in the coop costs me fodder which I don't feel like paying. So let's get them outside so we don't have to actually worry about feeding them inside. Okay. Sally, always happy. Cluck, always happy. Here's Taylor, one of our Patreon supporters. Thank you, Taylor. Ren, and this is Carmelo. Carmelo is another one of our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, Carmelo. All right. We have more Patreon supporters wandering around. We'll just have to go find them. All right, let's collect our four eggs, because who doesn't love an egg? So apparently, you can only get a level three egg from a bot chicken. To get a level higher than that, you need to start doing other things like breeding and stuff like that. Here's Aurora. She is one of our other Patreon members. So everyone say hi to Aurora. Beautiful. Okay. Those people all seem to be happy. I'm happy. So it's a good uh, it's a good start to the day. We do need to get some more silver ore going because we do want to get that house upgrade. And it's going to cost us 30 silver ore and 30 um, regular ore or whatever you want to call it. So definitely we're going to need to uh, to get some more of that done so that we can get the house upgrade. Which maybe, if we're lucky, we can do it today, actually. But we'll see. We've got lots of time to worry about that. All right, just cutting down this. Oh, we're out of room. Okay, fantastic. Let's, um, I don't need this right now. And I don't need the fishing rod right now. I should fish more. I just, I've, I don't enjoy it. I know it's bad to say that. I just don't enjoy, um, fishing in these games. I never have. It's always the thing I do the least. And when I play Stardew Valley and when I do the uh, community center, like the fishing is legitimately, legitimately the last thing I do because <clears throat> I dislike it that much. All right, I only really need enough for, that's enough. I can go back now and uh, get one more silver ore going in the makers. We'll do a flyby of our pond here, which is getting drained at a good rate, as well as our bees. Everything here is looking 
a-okay. Uh, our our uh, mushroom stump is looking fine. All in all, it's a good farm. This farm's looking, uh, the farm's looking up. So, not too shabby. I will not complain about the work that we've been doing. All right, we have lots of eggs to deal with. Um, I really should make one more mayonnaise maker. Okay, everything's looking all right. Let's put these onions to sell. We don't need to hold on to those. And we can deal with this sap. And that. Um, we obviously have this mirage lumber that we need to get going. Okay, now let's talk about things we need for our bike. I believe we need some of these. I'm going to grab... Someone told me to save them. I'm going to grab that too. I don't know. Looks like it could be used on a bike. I really don't know what I need. Um, we've got room for a couple other items. This can go in here. Just trying to sort through everything here, guys. I know this isn't the most exciting thing. Someone actually made a joke in the, um, in the, uh, in the live stream yesterday, the launch day live stream. And they said, um, what was the joke they made? Oh, they called it Story of Seasons Item Management. And I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> kind of sounds about right. You do a lot of item management in this game, which some people love. And some people, you know, don't like that much. Um, I don't hate it. I hate it that I have to do it, like, with you guys here watching. I wish I didn't have to do that because it's, it is a bit of a drag. I mean, I don't know anybody that really wants to sit here and watch me do item management. <clears throat> I don't think that's fun for anybody, really. But I guess it's part of the stream. And you guys have been so fantastic for me. So hopefully you stick around for that as well. All right. Just making that tea that Lynn loves so much. It's still just a four-star tea. I think we need better ingredients to make it better. Actually, let's go check something. A couple episodes ago, someone put a comment that says I can check out my dog, my pet stance, somewhere. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So this is the encyclopedia. Interesting. That's not what I wanted. Where do I find dogs? Uh, view pet notes? There we go. So I'm five stars with, uh, Ranger. Oh, and I can see my trophy that I got. Third place trophy. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, whoever gave me that tip, thank you so much. That's helpful. That's actually helpful. Alright, I'm waiting on some silver ore. And we got some. So now we're going to load up on what I think I need for the house. Which is this this I think lumber and I think I don't really know I'm gonna grab both those <sighs> I don't remember anyway doesn't matter we got a lot to do in town so let's get going let's get going this uh, I'm still upset that this load screen hasn't been improved although maybe it has I'm crazy but um Another cutscene. Oh, Adam, now that you're here, we can begin the ceremony. Oh, okay. What happened this time? I don't even know what my donation did, to be honest. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for participating in the second Roadway and Lamp Beautification Campaign. Our results are in. Yes, finally, says Cindy. Yay, says Mikey. We've received some wonderful designs from you all. It was tough to narrow down our entries, but we have our winners something gold. The winner of the road category, who will have their design used in town, is none other than Cindy. Congratulations. Oh, so we're letting a little girl decide what the design of the town's going to be. I love it, actually. That's amazing. Better than Victor. And Mikey got the lamp design. <clears throat> I don't know. Seems like those two might have rigged the ballots. Uh, we have many other winning ideas. Yes, congratulations. Quite a lot of us have names, you know. Uh, we work so hard on those concepts, too. 
Okay, Angela and Sally are feeling a little put out. Uh, my apologies. What I meant to say was our winners are Angela, the general store owner with a smile that warms the hearts of her regulars. <laughs> oh, stop. And the ever cheerful Sally, who called her husband Jason useless a couple episodes back. The internally powerful Jesse. I love Jesse. Jesse's a sweet old soul. That's a, quite the silver tongue you have. Our local ex pirate Jason. Jason reminds me of Tobias Funke on the first episode of Rusted Development. If you agree, comment below. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, don't egg him on like that. Otherwise, anyway, bless him. He's our favorite farmer whose presence makes everybody's day that much better. Let's hear it for Adam. Well, I gave you all the resources, so you better give me an applause. And that concludes our ceremony. Let's all work together and build our all of town into an even better place. What do you say, folks? I feel like Victor doesn't want to work that hard. Anybody else? He might, he might be a lazy. Oh, look at those roads. You know, I instantly recognize the roads being different. 100%. Alright, let's get this house upgrade. Expand the house. There we go. Whew, cost us almost everything we had. I really should break these down into different categories, but whatever. It makes the uh, episode way more interesting. Oh, it's instant. I thought it would take time. I hope the job's all done. Your new home's already. I expanded the interior wee bit so you can place some more furniture if you feel like it. I'm sure you'll find some nice decor to match the new space. Uh, looking at your place all big and spacious makes me want to expand mine. I suppose I could if I wanted to, but... Oh, what am I rambling for? I should be heading back to the workshop. Take it easy, Adam. Thank you, Nigel. I can't wait to check it out. Well, I don't want to be back here. We'll check it out later. I got things to do. <clears throat> Is that what you do when you get a brand new house? Oh, thanks for the house. Well, I got some stuff to do. There's my girlfriend, Lynn. I can say that now. All right, let's go back to Nigel because I want to know if there's another house upgrade that I can splurge on. Let's check. Yeah, there is. 60, 60, 40, 40. Yikes. Okay. Oh, we can get another pet, guys. Is 5,000 enough for a pet? I'm blowing all my money and I don't really care. Although, I should care. We have a new season coming up and I'm gonna need money. <laughs> All right, let's stop blowing cash because we don't have cash to spend. We will get another pet, though, but we'll save that for another episode. All right, here we are. We have lots of stuff to appraise. All right, let's get going. We're just going to click through this really quick. Just hopefully see what we get. Silvertown Metal. <clears throat> That's like 500 bucks right there. Maybe we can get a pet. Gold ingot. That's nice. So far, that's a... Perfect, in my opinion. What's this? Supple lumber? Okay, I'll take it. It's not great, but I'll take it. Okay, solid lumber? Again, not great, but I'll take it. What do you got for me? Oh, I didn't... What was that? Oh. 100% we can donate that. We're going to do that right after this. Alright, keep going. Um, what did she give me? She got me something else I didn't realize. Yes, uh, Silvertown metal. Ooh, some tough cloth. Nice. That's our first piece of tough cloth, if I'm not mistaken. That's not gonna be anything good. Solid lumber. <clears throat> One more heavy object here. Gold ingot. That was a pretty good day. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's donate treasure beautiful let's donate this i'm liking that these episodes like i mentioned this in my review episode which i think is episode 48 if you want to go back and watch i think that the progression in this game is pretty good like there's always something happening whether you're getting a heart event upgrading something finding new stuff to donate like there's just so much going on that you know i've played this is episode 51 um, 
I've got, you know, you say 30 episodes, so you got 20, 20-ish hours, 25 hours probably in the game at this point. It's pretty good. View the request list. So it's funny, guys, that I would say, it's funny that I would say this looks like something you would use on a bicycle or on a motorbike, and I actually needed it, so I don't feel so stupid anymore. Okay, and I think I have that stuff, and uh, we're going to go do that today. 100%. Oh, we got a little tree for our house. I like that. All right, now deciding. Can I afford... Can I afford a pet? I want to say I can. Hmm, let's go see what they're costing. If it's like 10 grand, I can't. Oh, yeah, let's buy a pet. Oh, I can't. 2,000, 3,000. I can afford that. But what do I want? Persian. Ooh. Lots of cats. I, I don't want another dog. I do want a cat. Are these cats here? Is that a dog? That's a dog. Ooh. Um... I don't want mischievous. Yeah, let's buy this. Okay. Let's see here. Um, this is our cat, Alexis, named after one of yet another Patreon supporter. Alexis, thank you so much for your support again. If you would like to have your own animal in my game of Story of Seasons, you can become a Patreon supporter as well. Well, supplies last because I can only have so many. <laughs> but anytime I get a new animal at this point, someone from uh, someone from my Patreon group is getting their name put into the game. So thank you so much to those people. Information down below in the description box. Would love to have more Patreon supporters so we can do more stuff. But again. Nothing will ever be tied. Nothing will ever be tied behind a paywall. Never. Not on my watch. There are perks. Like I have a Discord channel. Um, but the Discord channel is open to everyone. The Patreon only chat is behind a paywall. So I guess when I said there will never be anything behind a paywall, that's just a big old fat lie. Because obviously that is. <laughs> but I think you guys know what I mean. I think you guys know what I mean. All right, let's clean up some stuff here. And then um, I need one of those crystal things. Question is, do I have one? I thought I did. But maybe not. I thought I did. Well, actually, it gives me an idea. I might not have one right now. But do I possibly, can I possibly buy one? <sighs> My mind is spinning here. Could I possibly buy one? Oh, I have an egg. Back to my thought. Could I possibly buy one at the Sprite Village? And I need two oysters. I know I have oysters in the house. Okay. We're going to go to the travel. We're going to go to the Earth Sprite Village. Then we're going to check out our house. Then we're going to go back to town because I didn't talk to Lynn and I want to donate some more stuff. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, I got six more followers. Let's, um, yeah, let's put some more here. I think. There we go. Perfect. All right. Then we'll just check in with all these folks. I don't think it hurts to check in see what they got. Okay. So I'm seeing, is it worth? Hold up. Is it worth coming here every day? Let me know. I'm, tr I'm, I'm getting a lot of rewards. So now it makes me wonder, is it worth coming here every day? Uh, let's see if I can buy that thing. I doubt it. I really doubt I can... Never mind. I most definitely can buy it. I need a lot of those. I need that for something. Um... I don't know if I should do that right now, but I just did.
Alright, I just did. But I need those for some... There's something I need those for. Okay. Oh, my bag's full. We can deal with that. Just put some stuff away. Fantastic. Ooh, raw white opal. Genius. Okay. I'm wondering if I should come here every day, guys. I got a lot of stuff. And I was just there two days ago. Let me know. Is it worth going every day? Someone fill me in on all those good, good details. All right, let's check out our new house. Wow, that's a lot bigger. So these are our mats for our two pets. Um, nice. Which probably means a bigger fridge. Yep, it does. I got two. Nice, okay. So we can start putting more stuff in our fridge. But do I have to like hop over to the next? That's stupid. Okay, so I should be able to just throw stuff in. If I have two panels here, I should just be able to throw stuff from my bag into the fridge. I shouldn't have to hop a panel just to get into the fridge. That's annoying. That's stupid. Um, that bothers me. Actually, I need to donate some of this stuff. Hold up. Yep, yep. Both of those can be donated. So that, that annoys me, actually. That's stupid. That's stupid. I'm revisiting my 9.0 review. <laughs> oh, shoot. I do need an oyster. Two oysters. I don't know why I need oysters to fix my bike, though. Anybody else think that's a bit odd? Uh, I have clams, and I need to take two of those, please. Thank you. I really hope that even though if I donate all this stuff, it doesn't fix my bike tomorrow, because that would be... Stupid. Uh, where's Alexis? Alexis, there you are, girl. And I'll give you a pet treat. There we go. Alright, gonna start building that relationship with the cat. I have a cat and a dog. And I'll be able to get a third pet. But that'll be a while. That'll be a long while. Alright. We're going to swing by, see Lynn. And we have one more day of s summer. And then we'll move into fall. And that'll be exciting. <laughs> Hello, pal. Where is your daughter? There she is. <laughs> Three same places. Tourists has me a bit flustered. Yeah, I hear that. There you go. How about a tea? How is our heart situation? Working on number seven. Seven, eight, nine. Once we hit nine, we can do lots of stuff, actually. <laughs> we can get married. We can... I mean, who knows what else we can do. Okay. Just, sorry, just moving something here. I just need to make sure that my... Uh, yeah, okay. Just checking my mic levels. I wasn't sure how well it was going. I did notice, though, that I turned myself down. So I turned myself up now. I don't know if that's going to be better or worse, but... I think the last episode and most of this episode is not going to be ideal. I just realized I can probably bring one of every gem to the museum and donate it. I bet you that's right. All right. Back to the bulletin board. We have two oysters and I have one crystal. What? What did I want to build that required... 10 of those. Something I wanted required 10 of those things. What was it? Seed maker? Nope. I know I saw it, and I hope I actually did see it, otherwise I just wasted a ton of money. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there was something that required 10 of those. Who knows? Someone remind me. I swore I saw something that says, hey, you need 10 of these items. But if I'm wrong, point it out. All right. I assume we're going to get into cutscene tomorrow or the next day about my motorcycle. My moped. Okay. Um, what's this here? Fishing bait. Uh, raw white opal. How much I can do with that right now. 
put some wool in there. All right. This way, this way, and that can go away. Egg in there. All right, let's sell some stuff. Perfect. Oh, I meant to go to the stupid museum. Oh, well, I'm not going back now. Not going back now. In my opinion, at this point, it is what it is. I can go in there. So can that. Um, there's Rome. <clears throat> I can put this away in here. Might as well do that. Okay, um, I still have lots of time. I feel like I shouldn't waste it. So let's, um, is there anything we need to do? We could use more lumber, actually. We just spent a lot of our lumber. Not any of this lumber, but we spent some of our lumber on getting the house upgrade. And I feel like we could probably just take down some more trees. Be a good use of our time. How many can I fit in this area? Four? That's not bad. Let's take them down. I've said it multiple times. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about this... Um, this wood cutting mechanic where you can cut down like four trees at once. It looked kind of like mobile, phony type game to me. But I'm okay with it. Very much okay with it. <clears throat> I think it works actually quite well. Uh, can I get all three of these in? There it is. That, that, that's something I do hate. I hate having to like try to flip things around and set it up perfectly just so I can chop down some trees. It's quite annoying. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now it's getting late, so let's go dump this lumber into the uh, makers and call it a stream, I think. Or a video. I guess we're not streaming. I'm always wondering now if I have some of these bugs. And I want to say I probably don't. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, I think I have, yeah, I have a rhinoceros beetle. Okay, nothing new. Onward. Onward, onward, onward. Our animals are stinking cute. Love it. Love it so much. Quickly, let's deal with our wood situation. We have a lot, so <clears throat> we're going to be able to fill this all up. But while we're doing this, let me finish up by just saying thank you everyone again for all the support over the last few weeks. It's been phenomenal. It's been mind-blowing. It's been um, it's been lots of things, and uh, I couldn't do it with all without without all of you. So thank you so much. And that'll do it for another episode of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Once again, just want to give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a patron of mine, you can find the link in the description box down below. But until next time, everyone, have a great, great day.